in Israel and they actually you know wanted to cause a lot of confusion people had trouble you know they had suffered uh, a kind of hardship under Solomon's rule uh, but they had an option for Rehoboam Rehoboam had an opportunity to continue to be the king of the entire Israel so they came and told the king Rehoboam that we have suffered enough and we want a solution if we need to be under your leadership and dominion. So there were two kinds of counsel that Rehoboam the king received. One from young men who were not godly, who did not know how God operates, divine system. And uh, they said, you better give them more hardship, make their life more difficult and, and task them and make them submit and subject using your force. But you know, the godly counsel came from godly elders in 1 Kings 12. They said in verse 7, and they spoke to him, which is the godly elders spoke to him saying, if we will be a servant to these people today and serve them and answer them and speak good words to them, then they will be your servants forever. But obviously Solomon rejected that counsel that is given in verse 8. So we see they were giving him a godly counsel, which is uh, you need to submit yourself rather than using your authority to crush them and handle them hard. If you would submit them, if you would be humble, if you would serve, then it's going to help you. You know, they are going to really listen to you and they are going to be your people. So that was godly counsel. But what he thought was just because you know, his father Solomon had a lot of wisdom. He had a lot of authority passed down from his grandfather, David. God had chosen this lineage. So he thought whatever he would want to do, God's going to approve that. No, it doesn't happen. You know, God might have chosen someone. God might have a plan for someone. God might have even blessed someone. But it doesn't mean that whatever that person does will have God's approval on it. If God needs to approve you, you need to submit to the ways of God, to the word of God. 